Tech. My name is Fred Pat Mullabum, and this video will focus on the backhand grip, um, close grip versus open grip. Uh, I assume that you already know how to hit a backhand or understand how to hit a backhand. I'll show you the whole thing, but I'm going to focus on the open versus close grip. Okay, so um, backhand, of course, uh, you're pulling the the sword out of the sheath, leading with the elbow, and what happens right here. So, imagine the shuttle is coming this way, and you're standing here, and you go to hit a backhand. You turn, you do the leading with the elbow, your bevel grip. What you want to do is you want to open your grip. And what that is, is, I guess, uh, this way, sorry. So when you come around, so the shallow is coming this way, you know, over here, and follow the shallow. What I want to do is I want to see how the racket is close to or touching my palm. What I want to do is open this up. So using my fingers and my thumb to hold on to the, sh the racket, and I want to hit a backhand, and that's the that right there will give you a lot of power. It's this uh, close versus open grip um, for a for a backhand clear. So coming this way, you come down, you open your grip, and you swing. So showing this way, follow the shallow, come down, open your grip, and hit. Now open grip for the backhand is good for uh, backhand clear, backhand drop, backhand smash, uh, as long as you have the grip power. Um, there's no right or wrong with it. whether you use a open or a close grip to hit a backhand. It's just if you have the time and you want to generate more power, um, that's why I say backhand clear. You, If you open the grip, it will increase the power, um, the torque ratio, therefore increasing the power into your swing. Okay, so just try that when you hit a backhand. If you feel like you don't, you're not getting enough power in your backhand shot, try the open grip. Okay, um, <laughs> thank you for watching.